morning, everyone. My name is Dora Longoni. I am the head of the International Relations Division. And of, on behalf of all my colleagues working with me, I would like to extend to all our exchange students a very warm welcome to our institution. We are very glad that you have chosen the University of Padua for your experience abroad, especially in this academic year. And for those of you that have already managed to arrive in Padova, we really hope that you will be able to enjoy our city, in spite of all the current limitations. Our university has made great efforts to welcome you in presence. Our teaching activities and our services have been redesigned so as to provide you with a safe study environment. The staff from the International Relations Division is ready to support you in your, all phases of your academic exchange program. Both my colleagues from the mobility unit at the central level and from all the schools of the university for every kind of issue related to your exchange program. As an introduction to our university, we have organized various webinars and meetings that will take place from the second half of February until mid-March. All of them will be online events that will allow those of you who are already in our city and also those who are still in their home country to get to know our university better. The events will involve both administrative and academic staff and will introduce you to our schools and departments. If national regulations will allow it, guided tours of the city of Padua will also be offered. The University of Padova is extremely committed to make your experience with us a very valuable and rich experience from every point of view. So please feel very welcome. Let us then start with uh, the inst institutional meeting uh, with a welcome address by our rector, Professor Rosario Rizzuto, followed by our vice rector for international relations, Professor Alessandro Pacaniella. And also the city of Padua would like to welcome you. And for this, we have our municipal councillor, Enrico Fiorentin. And last but not least, the president of the Erasmus Student Network, Federico Bettin, would also like to welcome you and conclude this welcome session. Thank you and see you soon in Padua. Dear students, it is heartening to see you coming in big numbers to the university for spending some time in this modern and ancient site for education, science and culture. We have spent a terrible year, a year in which we have been forced to be distant. We have been forced to lose much of the essence of the university, which is a location where professors and students meet. They exchange notions, but also they meet as persons. And uh, we have been this for 800 years. We have been an old university with uh, a superb history. It is the university where Galileo declared that he spent the best 18, hours, uh, 18 years of his life. It is the university where Elena Lucrezia Cornaro Piscopia, the first woman ever graduated in the world, received the degree. It is the university where anatomists from all over Europe gathered here and started modern medicine, started experimental medicine and the possibility to look and not interpret what uh, science was telling. So it is a great history. It is a great present because we are a leading university, not only in the Italian panorama, but in the international panorama. So, we welcome you because in this strong and beautiful university, your presence is fundamental. It is fundamental that we remain, our motto says, Universa Universis Patavina Libertas, freedom of people and freedom of science for everybody from the whole world. And the idea that this, is, this was the motto and this was the essence centuries ago, and this is the essence now. You're going to be here, you're going to meet other students, you're going to meet the professors, you're going to live in a fantastic city, which is a real university city. We are going to, you're going to mix, you're going to exchange, you're going to experience interactions with citizens, with peers, in a city that loves the university. Well, all this 
I'm sure for you will be a rewarding experience and for us will be an extraordinary addition to our normal operation. We believe that the presence of international students is a very strong asset of this, of this university. So having you here, seeing you for us is a great emotion and we are really glad to have you here. Welcome to Padova and welcome to our university. Hello everybody, I'm Enrico Fiorentin and I'm here to represent the municipality of Padua on behalf of our mayor, Sergio Giordani. Despite the swinging events of the last 12 months, I'm so glad to welcome the international students who are coming to Padua for their period of study. The last 12 months have been very stressful for many of us, mainly for students and professors. Everybody has to be responsible and there are many rules to respect. All around the world, young people are putting an incredible effort to contain the diffusion of the pandemic and save lives. As a professor, I know the difficulties of teaching in front of a screen. Likewise, I know the difficulties uh, the students are facing. I mean, you students, uh, you have been so nice and flexible to accept the changing situation and to follow the rules that every country imposed on you. We are slowly coming back to normality. The upcoming world will be better than the past world. I believe that meeting new people and exchanging students are things that improve each of us and this also improves the culture of every people and every nation. As a municipal councillor, I'm welcoming you even with more involvement and excitement than in the past. Let's talk about Padua. In our city there are famous churches and beautiful squares that you will have the opportunity to visit. In front of the University of, uh, uh, of in Via Venezia, which is a 15 minutes uh, walk from, from uh, the Palazzo Bo, there is the Piovego River. Around the river, many buildings offer study rooms, uh, meeting points, uh, bars, and so on. We have Santo Church, uh, La Specola, Prato della Valle, which is the second biggest square in, Euro in Europa. Uh, Prato della Valle is called Prato Senza Erba the garden without grass. And near Piovego River, there is another important place that made Padua famous, uh, which is Pride Village. Our commitment on human rights started many years ago, and uh, we will continue to join LGBTQI families, family members, friends, and neighbors. This is an important challenge that our community and our world is still facing. In the middle of Corso del Popolo, between the city station and Piazza Garibaldi, last year we decided to communicate an important symbol. We colored the, the Ponte Garibaldi with the, the colors of the rainbow flag, which is a symbol of freedom, peace and respect. Despite the restriction, I hope uh, you will have the opportunity to go to our pubs, uh, our concerts, nightclubs. Uh, you will taste uh, our fantastic food and of course uh, you will visit uh, our museum. I, finally, I want to point out the beauty of our Centro Culturale San Gaetano, where several cultural events take place. The Centro Culturale San Gaetano is located in Via Altinate, a five minutes walk from Palazzo Bo, the headquarters of the University of Padua. At San Gaetano, almost every event is for free. You can go there to meetings, uh, exhibitions, ask for job information, take part in tandem language, and so on. I will conclude by saying one last important thing. Padua is becoming more and more open-minded, also thanks to your contribution. We believe in the importance of culture, and we want to welcome you as well as possible. The municipality of Padua will offer to you free entrance to our best museum over the period of 30 days. You will be informed about uh, the exact weeks and extractions to visit for free Palazzo della Ragione, Museo Civico and Museo Eremitani. I hope you will take advantage of this opportunity. Now you are part of our city and you are becoming part, part of our tradition and culture as well. 
Enjoy your time here and good luck everyone. Hi, I'm Alessandro Pacaniella, Vice Rector for International Relations at the University of Padova. I'm very happy to welcome here in this, in this historic place, which is characteristic of our, our university, because you will be part of our team in the next months. First of all, let me thank you for coming here. We know how much challenging, difficult can be moving away from your hometown, from your home institution, to find something different, to try something different. And it is even more difficult these times due to the COVID-19 pandemic. So, for this reason, we appreciate even more what you are doing. Coming here, coming Padua, staying with us, living with us. It's an important effort and we are very grateful for what you are doing. On our side, we are ready to welcome you. We are ready from a viewpoint of teaching. We have been experiencing classes delivered in the best possible way over the last months. We have been forced, unfortunately, to move in some instances, classes, to online teaching. But we have strengthened our capability, improved our knowledge, and prepared our professors to teach well also online in case it will be needed. We are ready to welcome you also in our labs because we have been applying protocols caref caring for the safety and the quality of the work that you will be doing. We are ready to welcome you also from the viewpoint of our staff, our Erasmus office, our uh, staff has been trained and uh, has collected a wonderful experience, welcoming, helping, supporting international students over the last two semesters. It has been a difficult period, yes, we know, but we know also that our staff has been very friendly, very warm, very helpful to support students and uh, to help to overcome any difficulty they had, uh, unfortunately, to face. We're ready to welcome you also from a lodging viewpoint. Our students' houses have been uh, cleaned and prepared to welcome you, adopting the best protocols to safeguard the quality of life, the quality of social life, as much as COVID has permitted over the last months. In this way, we have been able to limit the number of students affected by COVID to a very tiny fraction of the students who were present in our student houses. In general, we are ready to welcome you in this historic environment. And uh, let's have a look. Behind me, we have Galileo's desk, Galileo's teaching post, for which this uh, eminent scientist thought started a new science. Galileo Galilei lived in Padua and operated in Padua from 1592 until 1610. He did an outstanding job. And uh, his students prepared this uh, elevated desk because too many people wanted to listen to his lectures. So he was able to climb and to give his lectures in front of a multitude of students. Galileo started in Padova modern science. In the winter between 1609 and 1610, he pointed a small telescope looking into the sky, looking to Jupiter, looking and finding satellites rounding around Jupiter. It was a discovery of a new universe of a new conception of science. He started the science, a new science here in Padua. And it was just one 
of the many scholars that over the centuries came to Padova, learned, studied, taught, made the research, and gave, gave great contributions to the advancement of knowledge worldwide. Many of them are represented here and depicted here in this hall, which is called the Hall of the Forty. Forty great scientists that came here over centuries and made Padova great. They had to face big challenges, wars, hostilities, plagues. Yes, they came in periods where nobody knew why plague was coming and how it could be ended. But they contributed to enhance our knowledge and we can stand on the shoulders, on the shoulders of these giants to better fight COVID, pandemic, these years. And let me conclude telling that this is the way that we must approach pandemic. It's something which is hitting us hardly, but we have a big advantage. We have science on our side. We know how to deal with pandemic. We have developed vaccine in an incredible short time, which are very, very effective. So we know that science can help us in pandemic, but also in any other aspect of our life. This spirit, which has been the spirit of the advancement of improving our knowledge over centuries, let me welcome you again in Padua, at the University of Padua. Thank you for coming. Grazie. Dear students, I'm so happy to be here and present you what ESN is. The Erasmus Students Network is the biggest non-profit students organization in Europe. And what we do here is organizing activities to make this year the best of your life. All the activities we organize are not just for Erasmus students, but also for international students. So all of you can participate to our activities. And our activities are many, many different types. For example, we organize city tours, trips, dinners, barbecues. Of course, in this moment with the pandemic situation, it's not possible to do all these kind of events and we move to organize online activities and we hope you can participate and you like it. We also offer you our support, giving you the possibility to have many discounts here in the city of Padova, but also in more than 500 different cities in Europe. To get all the discounts and to participate to all the activities, you just need to get your ESN card, the card of the Erasmus generation. To get it, you just need a few things, 10 euros, two passport pictures, and you can write us an email or contact us via our social media to book an appointment and we can meet together to get your ESN card. Also, if you're looking for a room, if you're still uh, looking for a place to stay, write us a message, we have also option and uh, we give you any suggestion or help in order to find a new, new place to stay in Padova. To get updated about all the activities and events we organize, you can join our Facebook group, Erasmus Padova 2020-2021 ESM Padova, and also like our Facebook page or follow us on Instagram. And if you don't use social media, you can write us an email or visit our website. It's always updated weekly. We are really looking forward to see you soon here in Padova to have fun together, enjoy the city, and uh, if possible, travel and do uh, many, many activities. Thank you.